In this video, I am going to discuss the endocrine system of birds. The endocrine system of birds have almost all the glands and the hormones as in case of the mammals. But here we discuss some unique hormones as in case of birds or the hormone which have different function in case of birds. The endocrine glands in birds include the following glands as uh, you can see in the diagram. This may include the pituitary gland, the hypothalamus, pineal gland, adrenal gland, the thyroid gland, parathyroid, ultimobranchial gland and the bursa of Fabricius. These are the glands in case of the birds. But here we'll discuss only some unique hormone or the glands which are only in case of birds. And we'll, need, we'll not discuss the hormones and the glands which are common and have the same function in case of birds and the mammal because we'll discuss uh, them in detail in case of the mammals. So some unique hormone of the birds. First of all, the hormone that is the prolactin. Prolactin, it is secreted by the pituitary glands in case of some birds, that is the pigeons or the doves. Prolactin stimulates the production of pigeon's milk by discrimination or the sloughing of cells in the pigeon's crop. Prolactin also stimulates and regulates the following functions that is the broodiness, the certain kind of parental behavior or along with estrogen stimulate the development of brood or the incubation patch. The incubation patch or the brood patch, this is the uh, bird that is the robin you can see. The robin single brood patch appears a few days before eggs are laid. This is due to the hormone that is the prolactin. On the abdomen side of this bird, uh, it's all the feathers are dropped due to the prolactin and here it, it is the swollen, swollen portion or rich in blood vessels. This is because uh, just before some days of egg laying uh, this patch form and this birds bring this patch close to the eggs to provide them heat during the embryonic development. So this patch is used to provide the heat to the eggs for the hatching purpose. The brood patch helps to keep the eggs at the temperature between 33 and 37 degree Celsius. The next hormone that is the thyroxine. Thyroxine is uh, produced by thyroid gland. In addition to the major vertebrate function, thyroxine regulates the normal development of the feathers and the mold cycles and plays role in the onset of migratory behavior. So these are the function of thyroxine in case of the birds that it uh, is involved in the development of feathers and mold cycle and plays a role during the migratory behavior of birds. The next hormone that is the testosterone. Testosterone in case of male birds. It is produced by the testes and control the secondary sexual characters of the males such as the bright plumage color comb when present in case of male birds and spurs. Spurs are the some outgrowth like the bones specially present in case of male chicken just upper uh, from their feet uh, which they use in uh, for fighting with each other. All of these are strongly influence the sexual behavior. The next gland that we are going to discuss in case of birds that is ultimobranchial glands. This gland is small and in paired structure and is present in neck just below the parathyroid gland. They secrete the hormone calcitonin which involved in the regulating blood calcium concentration. So these glands are small, paired structure and present in the neck just below the parathyroid gland. And what's their function? Their function is secretion of the calcitonin which involve in the regulating blood calcium concentrations. And the next and the last glands 
and in case of birds that is the bursa of fabricius bursa of fabricius is a sac that lies just dorsal to the cloaca and empties into the it it is well developed during the bird's embryological development but it begins to shrink after hatching uh, this is well developed during the embryological development but start to shrink after hatching its tissue produces the secretions that are responsible for the maturation of white blood cells the wbcs or the beta lymphocytes and that have role in case of the immunological reactions so bursa fabricius a uh, present just near to the cloaca and this is well developed in in embryological development and start to shrink after hatching and what's its function it's uh, produce secretions that are responsible for the maturation of white blood cells or b lymphocytes uh, which have role in the immunological reactions here's a diagram here you can see that this is the ultimobranchial glands present uh, in the neck region just uh, under the parathyroid gland this is the parathyroid gland and this is ultimobranchial gland and here near to the cloaca this is the bursa fabricius which opens into the cloaca all about the endocrine systems and the hormones which are unique in case of the birds and next we are going to move towards the endocrine system and all the hormones in case of mammals especially the human beings so if you want to receive further videos subscribe my youtube channel thank you so much